It was the thing that would take us away from what we were to a place we'd never been before. An object of lust, a companion, a soulmate. In this place, there were no parents, no clocks, no commitments, no worries. Everyone would be new, and we would be new to everyone. Around every corner, there would be promise and hope and a clear, unobstructed view of the future. A place we'd live in forever. And the friends or person we'd spend the rest of our lives with. That's what our cars meant to us once. Then, as time went by, things changed. One car after another, until gradually, almost imperceptible to the human eye, our family and our job and a hundred other responsibilities, important and mundane, followed us into that car, filling it up so that there was no room left for us, rendering it practical, logical, and finally, invisible. Suddenly we knew what to expect and what was around every corner. And quietly, subtly, we ceased to look. Could anything ever make us feel that way again? Can the clock be turned back? Could we ever regain that special feeling? A feeling of freedom and opportunity and possibility. Is there a way to feel like a kid in a go-kart again? Where our car is not family, not job, but a thing of powerful and interesting possibility. Maybe there is. After 45 years, the affair continues. The Porsche Boxster.